What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Last Boys Gaming. We are officially less than a week away from the launch of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And if you're like me, you want to play this game as soon as possible, but you also don't want them Nintendo ninjas coming after you for pirating or downloading early somehow. So I'm going to show you guys how you can play this game a day before launch legally and on your official Switch hardware. So before we hop into that though, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video so you're kept up to date with everything going on here at Lost Boys Gaming. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. Now, first things first, you are going to need a Nintendo eShop account that is linked to the Australia slash New Zealand region. So first thing we gotta do is we go over here to Nintendo.com. As you can see, they are getting all ready for Tears of the Kingdom and you're gonna wanna hit that login and sign up you're gonna to wanna to sign up for a new Nintendo account. So I'm just gonna throw in some random date here because I already have one. So I just wanna show you guys the process at least. Uh, sure, 19, is that 88? Yeah, sure, all right, so here we go. So you're gonna fill this out however you feel like, you know, if you wanna put, you just need to make sure you have an actual email address. So this does need to be legit if you wanna fake your name all that stuff. You do need to have an email address though that you have access to. And it's gonna to have to be different from your your North American eShop account. Now, here's the rub though. This is where you need to change this. So the country of residence, you see mine automatically selected United States, that's where I'm at. However, if you scroll on up here, you know, you can throw in Australia and that's gonna set this time zone here and that is going to set you into the Australian eShop e -shop when you log in on your Nintendo Switch. So once you do all this, you set yourself up, you know, put your email address, make sure that it is set to Australia. And now once you do that, we're gonna go back on over here now. Uh, you can come here to your uh, your Switch and you're gonna log into your, you're gonna make, well, first I guess, before you log in, you're gonna need to make sure you have your second um, account, you know. So here's my second account. Um, just kind of set this up, you know, you need that profile, uh, but you're gonna make sure when you come down to user settings uh, and Nintendo account information, this is where you're gonna link your Nintendo account that you just created. You're gonna need to link it to a new profile on your Switch. Now, once you do that, you can come over here to yeah, the eShop. Make sure you log into the eShop under that account. That's gonna be important, because otherwise you're not gonna be uh, you're gonna be on your other account. So see, now I am on the eShop, um, but if you come over to Tears of the Kingdom, for example, okay, so see, I've already pre-ordered it, but you are indeed in the Australian eShop. So let's see, let's find, so like, okay, Splatoon 3. Let's see, maybe not that one. Let's find a, where's a, I need a nice, easy example. Come on. All right, Advance Wars, or Pokemon. Okay, let's go Pokemon. So no, you know this game, it's $60. Oh, I have that one purchased too, so that's not gonna work. Okay, Advance Wars, I haven't actually bought Advance Wars yet, so this should work, perfect. So you see, this, clearly we are in the Australian eShop. The $79.95 is not the actual retail price in North America, the $60, so seeing that it's 80 bucks in Australian, perfect. We are in the Australian eShop. Even this little marker down there says PG, um, you know, that's, different rating system than what we have here in the US. So we are indeed in the eShop for Australia. And once we do that, you need to come over to this account right here. Uh, you're gonna scroll down and this is important. This is an important part here is the primary console. Make sure that this console is registered as your primary console. This is gonna allow you to use any account on your Switch to play the game. Uh, if this is not your primary console, you're the only person, the only account that's going to be able to play the game is the secondary account that you've created linked to the Australian region. So once you've done that though, you're all linked up, you want, you want to buy the game. If you're not gonna be able to buy the game um, unless you have a card that is basically to that currency. So you're not gonna be able to throw in your PayPal, you're not gonna be able to throw in your debit card, or for example, it's not gonna work. So we have to get a little bit uh, tricky with it. So what we're going to then do is we're gonna come here. Um, we are going to go to seagm.com. Now this is where we can buy uh, eShop cards for Australia. So you're just gonna come over here and you're gonna type in Nintendo uh, Australia. See, I've already searched it. I probably spelled something wrong there. Perfect, okay. So Nintendo eShop card, and then you're gonna make sure it says AU. So that's the one we wanna click on. 
And then so you have your different accounts or different dollar signs. So currently they are sold out of the $30 it looks like, but you have a 60 and 15. So you're gonna be able to add these to your cart and purchase them. And then it's gonna give you a code. So we'll go back here to the switch. You're gonna enter your code. You're gonna redeem your eShop gift card in Australian dollars on this account. And then you're gonna be able to go in and pre-order. As you can see, I have I have already done so. I've got Tears of the Kingdom already preloaded. It's not gonna let me play it early. See, it's gonna check to see whether I can play. I'll let it check. It's gonna say, hey, it's not available till the launch date. Uh, you can't play software yet. Would you like to give you more information? So once you do that though, you're gonna be ready to play this game on the very first part of Thursday morning. I wanna say it's like 6 a.m. Uh, mountain time, which is where I'm at. So I put you about eight o'clock Eastern. Uh, five o'clock Pacific super early you're gonna be able to play all day on Thursday before anybody else you know you're gonna be able to get that time in experience Tears of the Kingdom as early as possible and that's kind of the only way you're gonna be able to do this at least legally um, but yeah that should do it once you do that you know you've got your account you, you can do this for other games so like I've done this for Pokemon I did that for Pokemon Scarlet I did it for Legends Arceus I did it for a Skyward Sword. So, and sometimes they actually even have good deals on the other eShops. You know, like I've gotten a couple games from the Australian eShop because they had a sale that was not going on in North America. Uh, so this is kind of a workaround for that. It, it does, I, it should be pretty similar price-wise. Um, you might be paying a little bit more for buying the gift cards um, through the AU. Um, so it, so do leave, keep that in mind. It might be, it might cost you a little bit more, but you are paying for that early access, I guess, if that's how you're looking at it. Um, so, I mean, it kind of depends on if you, if it's really worth it to you, because it's going to be fairly close, but you may end up paying just slightly more depending on conversion and, uh, you know, tr the rates between the U.S. dollar and the Australian dollar. So, hope you guys enjoyed though. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video. Let me know in the comments if you're going to be trying to pick up Tears of the Kingdom as early as possible. Uh, if not, or if you're going to be picking it up at all, I guess, uh, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts below. But hope you enjoyed. Hope this helps you play Tears of the Kingdom as early as possible. I know I'm excited to get my hands on this game finally. And I can't wait for just a couple more days, less than a week, and we will officially be there. So hope you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button, like this video on your way out. I really would appreciate it. Until next time, catch you later.